that jerky way of moving and getting around and is really characteristic hey, of his brain not working. Hey, buddy. Hey. Relaxing, isn't it? It's all right. Can we solve his problem? I hope so. But the reality is, I just don't know. It's like having a, a water balloon inside the brain that's being filled up with water. Oh, I don't like giving up. Hey, you were walking forward. Good boy. Outside the Bondi Clinic, five-year-old Kelpie Jasper is staggering uncontrollably. That's you. Owner Heidi is struggling to hold her baby Lexi and stop Jasper from falling over. Up you go. Up, up. I know it's a few stairs here. Every day when I take him for a walk, watching him fall, it all breaks my heart to see him fall over. Definitely. Jasper suffered a knock to his head as a puppy before Heidi rescued him. What started out as a small balance problem has now become a shocking affliction. What I'd like to do is actually see how he moves yep. and, and really do a full examination on him. If it's okay with you, even though I know your hands are already full, <laughs> is actually go to the park. Oh, here you go. Yeah, so he's not too bad, like when he sort of gets it together. Way everything. Hey, buddy. Hey. Relaxing, isn't it? It's all right. I know some people would look at Jasper and think that this just isn't fair on him and that maybe he should even be put out of his misery. But when I look into Jasper's eyes, to me, he's not unhappy. And I'm sure that has a lot to do with the fact he's loved so much. That jerky way of moving and getting around and the fact that nothing is done in a smooth way is really characteristic of, of one particular part of his brain not working. Yeah. And that part of the brain is the cerebellum, so it's just at the back here. Yeah. And what it does is if, if I want to go and pick something off the ground, then my cerebellum controls that and makes sure it's a nice smooth move. Yeah. And then brings it back. Whereas if my cerebellum wasn't working, it's like it is like being drunk. It's it's all over the place. Can't work out where he or you know, yeah. 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 That's normal. You should see the leg kick out like that. Yeah. He's a complicated little guy. Can we solve his problem? I hope so. But the reality is, I just don't know. I need to do a brain scan to see if we can improve his life and Heidi's as well. Oh, oh God. I've got all these mats down so he doesn't slip. Back home with Jasper, Heidi's constantly on watch to make sure her Kelpie doesn't hurt himself. Boy. Chris has called in some favours to fast track an MRI scan for Jasper. Good boy. The scan will confirm whether brain damage is causing his deteriorating condition. That's a good boy. We'll try anything to see if there's something we can do to help him. Because if he could get better or if he could regain any balance or even his hearing, <laughs> it would be pretty amazing. <laughs> Just popping up there, just on his back. Freaking me out, watching him, seeing him on the table, um, out to it, and yeah, it's just a scary thing to see your animal like that, definitely. Jasper's brain scan is about to begin. See you soon, Jasper. Back soon, buddy. Have a look right in here. This is a CSF in here, and that's the space it sits in, and that's a ventricle. And that looks really big. Yeah. Yeah. That could be causing his problem, I think. Yeah. So it's like having a, a water balloon inside the brain that's being filled up with water and, and pressing on that brain, and that may explain the signs we're seeing in Jasper. I think so. The key to Jasper's future is going to be working out why that fluid is building up. Yep. And then, I guess, most importantly, working out, hey, if it's building up, can we actually reverse that? Can we take that fluid away? Yep. And if we can do that, then there is a chance that we may actually be able to do something for Jasper. Just a chance. That'd be awesome. Yeah. <laughs> but just a chance. Jasper's scans will now be sent to a neurological specialist for further investigation. Definitely better news that, than I thought it was going to be, so it was really good to see those scans. 
you look at Heidi and you see what she's been through, especially in the last few weeks when Jasper's really deteriorated, you just want to a good outcome here. And I really hope we're going to get it. The next day, an anxious Heidi brings Jasper into Sash for a second opinion from specialist neurologist Georgina Child. Come on, Jasper. One more. Yes, he has an abnormality on his scan, but I don't think it explains all of his clinical signs. Mm. And I, you know, at this point, I don't think that surgery is going to help him. Sadly, there will be no miracle cure. Oh, goodness. I think that whatever problem he has is likely to be a problem within the, the structure of the, the brain itself. It's not something that we're going to change by, say, draining the fluid from, yeah. from his ventricles. Yeah, oh, that's a real shame. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't gutted when Georgina said there's nothing more we can do when you've done so much and come this far only to get the answer that you probably feared all along, it still hurts. Cool. I'll probably go home and burst into tears or something, but I'm, um, hopefully we'll have a few more years out of it at least. Even though we've done every form of medical examination, it doesn't mean we can't use our imagination and try to come up with some other solution to help him out. I don't like giving up. We tried. And honestly, Jasper's situation has really been playing my mind. You look at him and you see this dog that so stoically and so bravely carries on, it almost forces you to do more. Chris has kept his promise to Heidi and Jasper. He hopes he's found the answer to help the Kelpie with the inoperable brain disease. Hello. Hi, Chris. I'm Helen. Hey, Helen. And are you the famous Jasper? Yeah. Hello. This is a bit interesting, isn't it, Jasper? I do you like your walks in the park. I think it's going to be running in the park. Sometime. Running in the park? You're a speed demon. It could very well be <laughs> a speed demon after this. <laughs> now, Mr Jasper, you are looking good. Hey, here we go. I guess part of you expects that miracle where he's going to hop into that cart and suddenly sprint out and, and get himself in the car. It's, it's, it's not the reality though. Here we go. It's we just go. the beginning for Jasper and his canine cart. Here we go. Many of the other patients at the rehabilitation hospital are achieving amazing results. Yay. Yay. Hey buddy, look at you go. What we're seeing is the first brilliant steps, and give it a couple of weeks, it's going to be amazing. See, already is getting easier, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Hello. Do you want to come outside? Oh my god! Oh, that's you, the luckiest boy. Walk to mum. I walk to mum. Oh my goodness! Look at you. Oh. Yes, but you've got, look at that little help, so I didn't have to be holding you up the whole time. Exactly right. <laughs> wow. Oh, Jasper. That is amazing. That is amazing. For him to have that now, I won't be so worried, which will be, oh, just, oh, so make my life so much easier. <laughs> oh, you Oh, Jasper. Oh, boy. As for Jasper, Look at him now with his new wheels. Good boy. Oh, I'm absolutely amazed and so impressed with um, Jasper's progress with these wheels on. Everybody comments on how amazing he's been doing and how, um, how strong he looks and how confident he is and just how much better he's walking. Like almost every day I get comments from people saying, oh, you know, is that the same dog? I'm very proud of you. I'm very proud of you. Go home and have a bottle of champagne, Jasper. <laughs> good boy, good boy. Hi, I'm Dr. Kate, and if you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe to the Bondi Vet YouTube channel. Click on the screen for more great content. 
And for free, exclusive, never seen before Bondi Vet stories, you can sign up to bondipet.com and you can do so via the link in the description.